Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob, and today is a how-to video for replacing a friction hinge on a camper door. Here's a list of materials and tools you will need to complete this project. Friction hinges are usually your bottom hinge and your top hinge. And today we had a, our door, uh, the dowel pin came out and actually damaged our door um, and pushed through before we figured out what was actually going on with our our hinge here. So check this out. So just some subtle differences here. You can see that friction hinge besides the screen door is allowed to swing, but the rest of it, super solid. This is the non-friction hinge. All of them are able to swing. So this is actually the middle hinge here. Uh, but today we're replacing the bottom one. As you saw, it is damaged. Uh, so this is a six leaf hinge in black. You can get them in white too. Uh, pretty common hinge for all LCI doors, which I think are in most campers. So before we notice that the dowel pin had actually damaged the flange trim edge of the door, um, I looked at it further and there were two screw heads that broke off. So I'm guessing this got bound up at some point and that's how our hinge became compromised and it damaged our door in the process. So you'll notice these hinges have rivets in them and we're not going to be able to get to the back side unless we remove some wall panels which we don't want to do. It's a little bit more intrusive. So we're going to use a Dremel today and grind these off after removing our screw heads. So this is again the hinge we're going to remove. And your first step here, you're going to want to close your screen door so that it's secure. And the hinge should be held in place by the top one and the middle one here. It's already basically hanging off that now. So we're going to start off with removing the screws and then proceed with grinding these off. Oh, this one's broken off too. Which one? This one, so all three of them broke off. Start, time to start destroying stuff. Maybe if I hit it on the back side, I can knock it out. Rivets are solid. All right, I'm gonna see if I can pound these back in there. So they're not sticking out. Oh, use 
the Dremel one more time just to take off some of these burrs on here that left behind. All right, so now we're gonna loosen this hinge up, the new one, and start test fitting this. Notice too, these new ones, it doesn't have the rivets where those rivets were. I do have some self-tapping steel uh, screws. I may end up using those instead. We'll see. Under such great pressure. So now that I'm looking at it like this, I think it may make sense to use the self-tapping screws that I have, some stainless steel ones to go in in these locations where the rivets were. So it should be a little bit easier. I can put these set screws in that are already go into the door and this door, just kind of hold it in place. And then I can do the self-tapping to just finish it off and make sure that the hinge is really secure. Then I'm pretty sure once I'm done with that, I can just insert the cap, tighten this up, and we're done. So I always like to look at it ahead of time and plan ahead. That way you're not halfway through it and realize, ooh, I should have done this before that. Solid. Okay, the door seems to close right, but I, I think I need to actually adjust this strike plate for our new entry latch. I think just combination of the two with the new hinge, so. Okay, I did one last adjustment of just touching these screws up, making sure they're snug. I'll test the jam one more time to make sure it latches properly. Perfect. 
And that is how you replace a friction hinge on an LCI door for a camper. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please smash down that like button and hit subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this how-to video. Post your questions and comments below. If you enjoy this content and want to see more, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.